The city is like no other. Since its beginning, it quickly became a center of influence and power. Its many waterways and canals slowly reveal its glorious past. Today, it's a must-see destination for tourists from around the globe. Venice, in medieval times, was one of the most important ports in the Mediterranean and had an influence on the wine trade. Later, as the region developed its own winemaking culture, Veneto adopted a Greek technique of making wines from dried grapes, called a passimento. This continues to be a factor that makes the wines from this region unique and extremely popular. The vineyards of the Veneto wine region are renowned for a family of wines. In ascending depth and body, they are Bardalino, Valpolicella, Ripasso, and Daimarone. All members of this wine family start with the same blend of grapes, Corvina, Rondinella, and Molinara, picked at their peak of ripeness, and the best examples come from the hills of Valpolicella Classico. Ripasso is a Valpolicella wine that has been given more depth through a second fermentation using dried grapes, while Amarone is a product of the ancient winemaking method of Apassimento. Gargagnago is just in the center of the classic Valpolicella area. This is Dr. Sandro Boscaini, president at Mazzi Agricola, a leading producer in the region. The Apassimento process has been updated significantly since ancient times, relying on temperature and humidity controls to ensure quality. We start with the same grapes, Corvina, Rondinella, Molinara, but we can uh, pick and, uh, and uh, crush fresh, making immediate fermentation, uh, now at the picking time, and we have Valpulicella. Then Valpulicella can be also aged and become Valpulicella Superiore, and it's classical when it comes from the hillside area where we are now. Our vineyards, Masi, are totally in the classic area. Appassimento is totally made with the dry grapes, the same grapes we pick at the same time now. And then when the grapes have lost 40% of the original weight, creating a severe concentration, and we have a totally dry wine, which is Amarone. Ah, the Amarone. Just south of Valpolicella is Verona, the city of love, the setting of Romeo and Juliet. I've come back here to look up an old love of my own, one I met many years ago, the famous Amarone. Music is everywhere in this historic city known for its love of opera. And this is one of its most famous landmarks. For hundreds of years, Antica Bottega del Vino has been home to artists, poets, and one of the greatest sellers in Italy. It's like a shrine to the great Italian vintages. Severino Barzan oversees the extensive collection. He too is captivated by the region's Amarones and loves to extol their virtues. Amarone was something special for the families. Not a one to drink every day, just for the special events, I mean, the family, you know, for Christmas. It's a special yeah. occasion. Special occasions. When I try Amarone, I know they're made from the same grapes, from the same area, but where do they get their character? This is terroir, the different terroir are going to give you a lot more cherry, more peach, or body, it depends on the terroir, it depends on the soil, and depends on the philosophy of the winemaker, of the family. They can, I mean, 15 days more, 15 days less of drying them up, makes a difference. Tamarone. Tamarone. Salute. Salute. <laughs>